Hello, my name is Dr. David Shapiro. Uh, I teach in the Master's in Forensic Psychology program. In the first year, uh, I teach the uh, course entitled uh, Ethical and Multicultural Issues. It is a fascinating uh, course from a variety of perspectives. We realize that you are not uh, licensed psychologists, that your uh, work is in a variety of different areas. Uh, so what we try to do is to present to you uh, some of the major ethical conflicts uh, in the area. We deal, for instance, with uh, the issue of what it takes to diagnose someone. You are probably subject uh, to constant bombardment uh, by the media uh, with various people diagnosing people without seeing them uh, personally. That is one ethical issue that we spend a great deal of time on. What are the criteria for making a diagnosis? And certainly what is done on television talk shows uh, is not appropriate uh, practice. Uh, another issue that we consider a great deal are the issues of confidentiality and under what circumstances we have to forego or waive that confidentiality. There are many different state laws uh, that deal with that, and they vary from state to state. Most people are aware that there is no confidentiality if uh, an individual that you are seeing uh, in treatment talks about uh, child abuse. There is a mandated reporting of that. And of course, you need to let that individual know ahead of time that uh, that will not be held confidential. But there are many other kinds of situations, such as if an individual reports to you that they intend to harm uh, another party, Many states have what is called a duty to protect or a duty to warn third parties. Uh, what is incumbent on the uh, therapist at that time is a careful assessment to determine whether or not the threat is a credible one. And if it is, what the proper course of action to take might be. Uh, there are some states where uh, it is mandated that you notify the third party or the police. Other states are more permissive or what is called discretionary, where they uh, allow you to try to handle the situation in a more clinical manner, such as increasing numbers of therapy sessions uh, or uh, providing medication. Um, the, this also goes into the area of uh, exactly what constitutes an assessment of the potential for violent behavior. It is a very complex and complicated area, and yet the law requires very often some very simple answers to very, very complex questions. We also talk about the uh, whole concept, for instance, of what are called multiple relationships. That is that uh, a mental health professional should be involved only in one kind of relationship uh, with a patient or client, not several, because uh, involving oneself in several different kinds of relationships result in conflicts about exactly what role one is playing and what the uh, obligations of that role might be. Uh, in short, uh, what students will take away from this course is that ethics is not a dry and uh, drudgery kind of area. It is a living, breathing area that will inform virtually every activity that you perform on a daily basis.